With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that let L denotes all the set of all straight lines in a plane, okay? And a relation R be defined by, okay, alpha and beta, okay, they are belong to R. Okay, and alpha is perpendicular to beta and alpha beta belongs to L means they belong to set of straight lines then r is either reflexive symmetric transitive or equivalence okay we need to check what is r which type of relation is r okay so it is given let's write the equation for this okay equation for this relation is alpha is perpendicular to beta it is given now first check for reflexive so what is reflexive according to reflexive okay x comma x same element okay it will belongs to relation okay this is reflexive Okay, and how to check this? Let me show you here. It is given that alpha is perpendicular to beta here. In place of alpha and beta, we will write x. Okay, so x, suppose x is a line and x is perpendicular to x. Is it possible? No, a line cannot be perpendicular to itself. It is not possible. So, it is not reflexive. Okay, so now let's check for symmetric. Okay, what does symmetric mean? Symmetric means, suppose I am having a comma b okay and they belong to relation and b comma a they should also belong to relation this is the condition means this is true and we have to check whether this is true or not okay so let's check it here according to this statement uh, equation it is alpha is perpendicular to beta so here we will write a is perpendicular to b according to what according to a comma b now check according to b comma a okay it means b is perpendicular to a this is definition Okay, so it is obvious. Suppose I am having a line which is perpendicular to other line. That line will be also perpendicular. Okay. For better understanding, let me give you a small example. Suppose I am having these two lines. Okay. This is my line A. This is my line B. So, A is perpendicular to B. Okay. Or I can say B is perpendicular to A. Both are same. Okay. So, both are same. So, it is reflex symmetric. So, we conclude that it is not reflexive and it is symmetric till now okay now let's check for transitive third part okay what is the meaning of transitive suppose i am having a b they belong to relation similarly b comma c they also belongs to relation now we need to check whether a comma c they belongs to relation or not we need to check this condition okay so what i said a and b this is first and b and c this is again okay next so let's check here according to equation of this relation it is a is perpendicular to b okay and b comma c means b is perpendicular to c okay we need to check for a comma c okay so according to this according to this we we are given that a should be perpendicular to c now we need to check this particular condition a is perpendicular to b okay it is true okay b is perpendicular to c okay so will a be perpendicular to c no this is my a suppose this is my line b okay a is perpendicular to b according to first condition according to this condition b is perpendicular to c means like this this will be my line c so is a perpendicular to c no a is not perpendicular to c this is c part and this is my a line okay both are not perpendicular so this is wrong so here transitive it doesn't hold transitive relation so according to this question it is only symmetric we can uh, conclude that it is only symmetric so option 2 is the right answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today